Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Moise Keen card to review today. Uh, or Moise Keen. Moise Keen? I, I, like, every time I watch the commentaries, they say Moise Keen. So I don't really know. Uh, guys, this card is really hyped on Footbin. Like, really, really hyped. So I actually wanted to try him out uh, to see how this card performs in-game. Because, obviously, before the patch, the lengthier players were significantly better uh but obviously with him being a lengthy card on a marksman chemistry style he definitely looks very interesting why because this card on a marksman chemistry style is going to be working with a lengthy accelerate with 90 acceleration 91 sprint speed already for base card stats right when it comes to the shooting on the card he has 96 finishing, 98 for shot power, 82 for long shot. So his finishing is going to be in a fantastic area as well with the Marksman Chemistry Cell. 91 for attacking positioning. He has a high medium work rate. A lot of things are bouncing off of this card really well. More for the game before the patch, but obviously it could still be pretty decent, right? Like Lengthy hasn't been nerfed. The other two have just been massively uh, boosted, you know? Passing on the card is not going to be in a great area, so it is a card that you're mainly going to be using in the striker position. One, your only striker, one of two strikers, that kind of thing. With this card in game, guys, his agility and balance is set up in a very good area while being a six foot tall player at an average body type. Because here's the thing I've told you guys many, many times before in the past where if you have a card like this and you give them that marksman chemistry style, it just suits them a little bit more to boost that area of the card more than the other areas of the card in regards to agility and balance when they already have it, right? So the fact that he already has it is a huge plus. 80 composure is a little bit on the lower side for certain strikes that he could potentially take, but we're going to see what that's like in game. Uh, this card does have some physical capabilities. So if you actually go for some sort of header or cross, you know, he can actually win the ball in the air, which could definitely be a really huge plus. And he's also working with a 99 for strength. So here's the thing about this card, right? He is 21.5K on the market. So generally speaking, for a striker that is playing in the Serie A that gives you those Juve links, that's really good. If this was like an SBC for 21K, people would be doing it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try out this card in game. Uh, we're using the Serie A team because we're doing reviews for some of the other cards as well. Um, we're gonna be trying him out in the 4-2-3-1 setup that we are gonna be making a video on. It's just a couple of instruction changes to kind of fit the meta criteria a little bit more, right? Uh, the Keen card is gonna be only on stage central up top in the striker position, and we'll just go from there. So yeah, we'll see what he's like. Hopefully he's a beast. Wow, that would have been sick if I actually got that off. Oh my goodness, the runs he's making is really good. I just wish chip shots were like better, dude. That was a good layoff. Well done, Lozano. Well positioned. Moise Keen, eh? Look at this guy. Yo, he's uh he's lengthy, but he actually feels fast. Like he he feels very, very quick. Yo, this Moise Keen card. Hello. This guy's doing the work for me. He just gave it to me. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Let's go. 
This guy, this guy is so much better than I thought. He is, bro. He's literally so much better than I thought. Well, like, you know what it is? Pre-patch, I'm like, yeah, he's gonna be a monster. But he's good, even after the patch. That was all Lozano, eh? Lozano just set that up. Defensive play all the way to the attack. Moise Keen with the finish. Oh, wish I had the, um, I don't know. I probably should just accelerate on the inside. You always try to get that one small touch and then shoot. It's always super effective. Dude, almost, man. Well done, boys. Uh, I this this Moise Keen card. It's it's uh, he's uh, super enjoyable. I'm telling this right now. Like he's very enjoyable. Dude, this Moise Keen card is I, I'm I mess with him a lot. Like, I mess with him a lot. If this was an SBC for 20k, this is like me reviewing the Arnautovic card during that time period. Like, he's a lengthy player, but he still feels really fast after the patch. Look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy, man. Play again. He has to score that. He has to score that, man. Park the bus, he has to score that EA. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Keen Inform card. Uh, guys, so I'm sorry I didn't do this review uh, when the Informs were released on the Wednesday. Uh, I got him as a red pick for my foot champs rewards. So I was like, you know what? I might as well try him out uh, because he's really, really hyped on foot. And you can see that he has 2,300 likes with 119 dislikes. I think the reason why he keeps going higher is because from the red picks, I do feel like a lot of people are actually packing him right now or getting him as a red pick because people are like constantly liking it. Like earlier today, it was like 2,000, right? So he got another 300 on the card, uh, which is really cool. Guys, uh, this card is very solid. It's very, very solid. You would think that after the patch, he would be no longer good, but he still makes absolutely incredible runs. The reason why this card performs so well is because everything bounces off this card really nicely in regards to pace for base card stats already being good while working with a lengthy. His agility and balance for base card stats is already in a good position so that you can give him the marksman chemistry style to boost reactions, ball control, and dribbling because if you boost his dribbling... 
with say a finisher, right? And you made his agility and balance a little bit higher with his dribbling a little bit higher. Could you technically use the card like this on a finisher and boost that agility and balance area? You technically could 100%, but you're still gonna feel the fact that he's a six foot tall player at an average body type, right? So I feel like when you give this card the marksman to kind of utilize that lengthy on the card, it's really nice. Now, don't get me wrong, you could totally make him a controlled player as well, and it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, right? The finisher chemistry style does turn him into that, and if you were to do that, again, it wouldn't be horrible to work with, but I just feel like the marksman for a card like this, cards like Shupa Molting and stuff, it's just very, very helpful. So, very cool that you can give him that. 80 composure is sometimes noticeable. Uh, I get frustrated with this game because of the whole park the bus situation, but his finishing, generally speaking, was very good you know if i got into the higher percentage strike areas and i green time them for the most part he would score the opportunities what's really nice is that with this card being lengthy you can see that he has that crazy burst of speed right but then he also has the 99 strength to work with the six foot height at an average body type to out muscle people to be able to score those opportunities now don't get me wrong once you get into the park the bus areas which is what the meta of this game is uh it's a little bit harder to work with him but it's not impossible his dribbling still is okay in those areas what you notice the most is when you're putting pressure up against a park the bus defense is the composure being lower because of him being taller with the average body type but that's me being super nitpicky like this is a type of card that if ea were to release a dynamic duo sbc like they did for the arnautovic card him being 20 something K would be incredible value for what he offers in game. It really would be like, it would be absolutely incredible value. Like he's very, very solid in this game for the type of striker that he is. So uh, GG's DEA for creating this card, not for creating this patch, but this card definitely plays uh, really, really well in game. So definitely a huge plus, especially in my case. I mean, I had Arnautovic before, but with him being Italian and from Juve, it, it kind of helps with those uh, links in the future. So definitely a W in my opinion. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.